Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am in Charlotte for the weekend, visiting my sister. It is Friday, I came down last night straight from work. And sorry if you can hear some traffic in the background, there's cars behind me, she's parked. She ran into UPS and I'm in the parking lot, straight chilling. I got here last night and we went to this amazing restaurant. I don't know if it's technically in Davidson or Mooresville, but it's called Havana 33 and it's right on Lake Norman. They have lake views on the back deck. It was so fun. The food, you guys, was absolutely amazing. I'm obviously gonna put some clips in from that. We shared croquettas and we shared a date appetizer that was date stuff with goat cheese and almonds wrapped in bacon. They were so good. And then we shared an entree of the arroz con pollo and it was so good. It was amazing. So obviously I'll put clips in from that. We had some drinks, had a lovely time. And now today we are running a couple errands. We went to a store called Girl Supply in Huntersville at the Burkdale Mall. It is the cutest store. Again, I'm gonna put clips in. You guys, they have the cutest stuff. They have Taylor Swift themed items. I'm gonna have to show you my sweatshirt that my mom got me from there uh, when we get back to the apartment because my mom got me a Taylor Swift sweatshirt from that store for reaching a thousand subscribers, which was so nice. So I'll show you guys, it's so cute, I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, now we are gonna go play some tennis, which is gonna be hilarious. We have not played tennis, either of us, in a few years. So we're gonna go hit the ball around and yeah, we'll see what we get into next. Hello everyone. It is Saturday. It is a beautiful day in Charlotte, North Carolina. It is 12 o'clock. It is 81 degrees out. It is sunny, blue skies. I am so happy. I just came to my favorite Charlotte coffee shop, which is not just coffee, which you can probably see behind me. I came to get an iced caramel latte because they literally have the best coffee I have ever had. Not an exaggeration, best coffee of all time. So I came here to get a coffee and a little snack before I head to that convention. I don't think convention is the right term for it. It is what I was talking about yesterday, that store, it's called Girl Tribe or Girl Supply. Um, I think they have a Girl Tribe store, that's their brand, and they have a store called Girl Supply. Um, but anyway, they're hosting a ton of vendors at the convention center in downtown Charlotte, and it's gonna be all women-owned businesses, and they're gonna sell jewelry and clothes and accessories, art, all these different things. 
I have no idea how many vendors are going to be there, but I am so excited to go. So I'm going to get a coffee, I'm going to get a little snack, and then I'm going to go to the convention center. I think it's from 12 to 5 today, and I got parking starting at 12, and it's 12 right now. But I'm going to go there, see what I find. I'm really excited. I hope that there's a bunch of cute stuff there. I don't know. I'm really excited. We've been having such a fun weekend. Yesterday, we did a bunch of different things. We went to the mall. We went to an amazing Korean restaurant for dinner, which was divine. They had a BTS margarita, so you know I was losing my shh about that, because I love BTS. But yeah, I will show you guys what I get and not just coffee, and then we're gonna go to the convention and then we're gonna see where the day takes us. So, well, let's go. home now I had the best weekend in Charlotte you guys it was so much fun but I wanted to share with you what I got at the girl tribe market I realized this whole video the word I was looking for was market not conference not convention it is a market so I want to show you sorry a little fuzz in the air I want to show you what I got at the market funny enough I went to this market in Charlotte and I ended up buying things from two small businesses that are based in Raleigh. <laughs> so there you go. I got the coolest, cutest stuff. I cannot wait to show you guys. I'm just gonna show you now. So the first business that I bought from at the market was from a business called Bella Ruth. And I met Kat, who is the owner of this business. She makes a lot of macrame crafts. So she makes those really cool macrame plant holders. Like you can hang it and the plant is in it. They're so cute. Like they're genuinely adorable. I kill every plant that I buy. So I did not get any cool plant hangers, but I did get some jewelry. She also had these really cool macrame coasters that I was really tempted to get, but probably next time I'll get those because they were so cute. But I did get these absolutely adorable earrings. Is it getting me? The stud is a cloud and then it's a gold rainbow with rainbow colored threads hanging off of it. Like you guys, I can't. They're so cute, I love them so much. I should have put them in for this video. What am I thinking? Does it go with my red sweatshirt? I should have put them on for this video, but her information is at bellaruth.co. I think that's like her Instagram information. I just thought these were the cutest earrings. I loved the little cloud stud. I really thought that made them so, so cute. And plus I just like love 
rainbow colors, but I especially am loving that lavender color right now. Ugh, I'm obsessed. So I will link her information in the description below if you're interested in buying these earrings or some of the other cute stuff that she sells. Before I get into the other things that I purchased, I am wearing my Girl Tribe slash Girl Supply sweatshirt. So my mom saw this at their Girl Supply store in Huntersville, North Carolina, right outside of Charlotte. And she got it for me as a gift for reaching a thousand subscribers. Thanks, mom. It is a Taylor Swift sweatshirt, you guys. Excuse me. So it literally says, I remember it all too well with a heart. I am obsessed in an unhealthy way. I love it so much. It is so soft, so oversized. It is so comfy. I love it so much. You can get this on their website. Again, I will link that below in the description, but I just love the sweatshirt. I love the color. I hope it's coming up right on camera. It's a very blue toned red, which I feel like is very flattering on my skin tone. So I really like it. It's so cute. The other thing that I bought at the market, again, from a Raleigh vendor, was these amazing candles, you guys. These were hands down the coolest thing that I saw at the market. They are candles that you can grow flowers in. Let me explain further. Let me grab one, one moment. So this company is called Evercoast Candles. Look how pretty the label is on these. Oh my gosh. And they smell heavenly. <gasps> this white tea one, like I could eat this. Oh, it smells so good. These are soy candles. So and it has this little dust cover on the top here. And if you can see in that, it actually has wildflower seeds in it. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever heard? So basically what you do is you burn the candle and then once you've burned it all down, you can clean this out if you want. I guess you don't actually have to because the soy is like biodegradable. Is that the word? It's nature friendly. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna clean mine out, but you clean it out and you put this little dust cover at the bottom and put like a tiny bit of soil over it. I think that they said, an eighth of an inch of soil. Then you put it in a sunny spot and water it often, and then it grows wildflowers. I think that they had six different kinds, but it's a surprise. You don't know which ones you're gonna get. I think this is the most creative and cutest idea I've ever heard in my entire life. I was flipping shiz at their booth. I was like, oh my God, I love this so much. Cause you guys know I love candles. I love candles so much. And I was like, maybe I can keep wildflowers alive. They're meant to be wild. So they're meant to just like exist in nature with whatever the conditions are. So maybe I can keep them alive. Maybe they can survive me. But anyway, Evercoast Candles is the name of this company. I am going to link them in the description as well. So I got three different kinds. I got the white tea, which smells absolutely heavenly. It actually reminds me of a Bath and Body Works candle that I really love. This is very specific, but I had a Bath and Body Works candle that was like a London theme. It was so cute. It had London on the label. It was like a lemon tea scent which really reminds me of this, but this is white tea. Oh, it smells so good and so fresh. I absolutely love this. Like literally I could eat this, but I won't. I'm not a crazy person. So I got white tea. I got lavender and amber. Lavender and amber. Oh, it smells so good too. I love lavender candles to put in our bedroom because it's just so relaxing, helps you sleep. Oh, so I like to burn this right before bed. This smells so good. I also really like this one because the lavender isn't too like powdery smelling. Sometimes those can get a little, little weird. This one smells so good. The final one I got was Magnolia and Peach, which just is like the most spring summer scent. Oh, they all smell so fresh. That's what I like about them. They're so fresh smelling. Oh my gosh. I just like put my mouth on that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I like that the peach is very present in this. Oh, it smells amazing. Anyway, Evercoast candles, you guys have to absolutely check them out. I wanna give a shout out to Rebecca and Sharon. They were both so nice and their product is so creative. I cannot wait to burn these. So definitely check them out. Well, that is it for my little Charlotte vlog. I hope you guys had fun coming along with me to Charlotte for the weekend. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so below. It really does help me out. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.